Welcome to Paper Threads Cutter Vision Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how you can rename the rhinestones within the Funtime software and add more rhinestones to your patterns. To do this, the first thing you need to know is where to find the rhinestones within the software. If you go into your C drive or your hard drive where the software is installed onto your computer, from there go to your program files, your SignMax folder, and then your Funtime Scrapbooking Deluxe folder. In that folder, you will find another folder entitled Texture. Go into the Texture folder, and there you will find the Rhinestone folder. And here are the various rhinestones that have been uploaded into the folder, and you can go ahead and pick and choose and rename any of these that you want at any time. For instance, let's say I wanted to go ahead and rename this one as Lime. I could go ahead and select the rhinestone, and I can now then type in the word Lime under here and hit enter and now that rhinestone is saved as the word lime. The other thing you can do is add in your own rhinestones to the program and to do this you need to open up a photo editing software program. I use Photoshop, you can use that or any other program and basically what you want to do is open your image file within that program and then go ahead and use your select feature and you want to go ahead and select the rhinestone that you want to use. And once that's selected, then you go ahead and go to Image and choose Crop. Once you've cropped your rhinestone out of the image, then you want to go ahead and resize it. So you want to bring up your sizing canvas in Photoshop and go ahead and change the size. Now this is a 62 by 62. You want to make it somewhere between 62 and 70 pixels. Um, I noticed that the rhinestones have a little bit of a variety into the sizes, so just somewhere within that area would be fine. So let's go ahead and make this a 65 by 65 pixel and go ahead and click OK. Once you're done with that, then go ahead and save the image as a web or device image in order to save it as a very small size. Once you've made all the changes and added the rhinestones to the folder, then you want to go ahead and open up your Funtime software program. If the Funtime program was already open, you will need to shut the program down and restart it in order for those changes to take effect. To test the rhinestones, go ahead and place a project on the page. In this case, I'm just going to do a simple circle and go ahead and choose your rhinestone option right here in the menu and your rhinestone menu will appear. You can then see that the rhinestone you just added, Jet, is now available in the options and the one you renamed is also renamed in the options here. I can go ahead and choose a 6SS stone and I can apply that to my project and if I want to view it what it looks like in the Jet black, then I go ahead and choose Jet and you can see that the stone has changed to the Jet stone or the limestone, etc, etc. And that's it. That's how you can change and edit the rhinestone pattern options within your rhinestone menu. Once again, thank you for watching Paper Threads Cutter Vision Tutorials. We hope that you found this tutorial useful and we look forward to seeing you next time. You can find this and other tutorials at our forum, www.paperthreads.com forum. Thank you.